I'm Mr. Tompkins. Today, I'm gonna to teach you some fantastic tennis drills that you can do by yourself or with your friends or your family. Get ready, because these are superb. So, first drill. Two rackets apart like this, not too far, just to begin with. Both handles pointing that way. You're gonna get tennis ball in, in your hand. You're gonna start off with the tennis ball nice and low, and all you're doing is you're aiming at your target. If I hit any part of that racket, I get a point. I'm gonna start low, I'm gonna release the ball about here, and the most important thing is when I let go of the ball, I need to bring my arm round and tap myself on the back. That's called the follow through. Let's give it a go. Yes. One point to Mr. Tompkins. Let's have another go. Oh, I missed that one. One more. Two points for Mr. Tompkins. I win. So, just a quick recap on this uh, accuracy drill. All you need is two rackets, three balls. You can do it by yourself, or if you've got a friend or family to do it with, even better. And the best thing about this is you don't have to worry about the quality of your tennis rackets because you're just using them as a target in this drill. And if you really want to challenge yourself, try moving the rackets a further distance, see how you get on, and don't forget that follow through. Enjoy. Right, in this session, in this drill, we're going to use a tennis racket in our preferred hand. I'm left handed, and our target is to try and see if we can get the tennis ball through these two cones. So we're going to stand to the side, we're going to keep the racket low and on the floor, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass to our partner on the other side, or if you don't have a partner, you can use more than one ball, but if you've got a partner on the other side, and you're going to keep the racket nice and low, and you drag it through with your follow through up like that, Perfect. Let's have another go. Keep the racket nice and low. Drag it through, through the target. Two points with Mr. Tompkins. Every time you get it through, you get a point. You can play against your partner. First one's 10 wins. If you want an extra challenge, stick the cones nice and tight. This is a fantastic one. Enjoy. Here's a recap, guys. This is how it should be set out. The rackets are where the people should be standing. Start nice and close with the cones nice and open. Take turns putting it through. Remember low to high with a nice follow through with the ball along the floor. If you want an extra challenge, go further away from the cones. And if you want an even harder challenge, put the cones even tighter and see who's the best. Right, in this one, we're gonna use, similar to the first drill, so we can use our rackets as the target. But when it's your turn, you're going to hold the racket and you're going to do a nice forehand shot aiming for the target. So we're going to do a controlled shot. So we're going to stand sideways on. We're going to bounce the ball. Now when the ball bounces, we're going to wait till it hits about, gets about knee height. Then when it gets knee height, we're going to get it a nice shot there. And we're going to remember our follow through. And if we hit our target, we get a point. So I'm going to try again. Nice bounce, nice hit. Close, Mr. Tompkins, you can do it, come on. Remember that follow through. Ooh. I hit it on the other takes. This time I didn't get it, which is a bit annoying. But remember, sideways on, let the ball bounce about knee height, hit it low to high with a follow through so the racket's touching your back. It's a controlled shot, aim for the target. This is a great one to see how accurate you can really be with your tennis forehand shot. Give it a go. I've been Mr. Tompkins, and that was my tennis drills video. Let me know which one was your favorite, how you got on, and I'll see you on my next video.